A Chapman University professor is taking legal action against students who he says tried to cheat on two exams last year. Oh, well, there is a problem. He doesn't know who the culprits are. Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost joins us live from Orange with the story. Hi, Chip. Yeah, hey there, Sharon Pedro. You know, it's pretty well known. Professors do not like to find out somebody has cheated on one of their tests. But in this case, the professor involved did something very unique. He filed a lawsuit in order to try to figure out the names of the students who cheated. When Chapman University professor David Berkovitz was teaching virtually last year during the pandemic, his attorney says portions of the midterm and final exams he sent his students ended up on crowdsourcing study website CourseHero.com in an apparent effort by one or more students to cheat. Course Hero says when given proper notice of the situation, it removed the test materials from the site, but the professor wanted more. He wanted the names of the student or students who did it. We don't know exactly who did it. We don't know exactly what day or time. And Course Hero was asked for the information, but they said that we needed to serve them with a subpoena to get the information. So to get a subpoena, the professor had his attorney, Mark Hankin, file a copyright infringement lawsuit against Doe's one through five. That is the unknown student or students responsible. So we had to make a federal case out of this because that's the only way to get the information to find out the real names of the students, the dates and times they posted, what information they got back, and then compare the answers they got back with the answers they put in their green books to see whether, in fact, they have cheated. Honestly, I feel like it's going to be very hard to figure that out because it's like, I'm pretty sure they submitted that anonymously. On campus, we asked students their thoughts on the professor's lawsuit. It's, it's such a prevalent issue. I don't know if suing individual students is going to fix anything. It's just such a big issue, but I do think that it's not fair to the students in the class if other kids are cheating online. There could have been other ways in which they could have addressed it to the class because I feel like a lot of the times in kind of these kinds of instances, maybe a warning might have been given out firsthand instead. So, Chip, uh, has there ever been another lawsuit like this? Uh, well, according to that attorney you heard from in the story, Mark Hankin, this is kind of his specialty. He's talked to other copyright attorneys and says he doesn't know of a case specifically like this. However, he says he thinks he's on pretty solid ground. He says, for one, this was a, a business law class, and there were pretty clear warnings put on the test when the professor sent them out that they were not to share them or put them anywhere on the Internet. So he thinks it's a pretty solid case. And the main thing they want out of this, he says, are the names of the students. They get those names. They'll take it to the administration and see what the administration might want to do as far as punishing them.